Hello, I'm Natalia and I'm from Omaha Northwest and I'm a junior. <laughs> and my poem is called Lost Friend. We were inseparable. There was no me without her. When you saw me, I was always with her. But if you saw her, you would never see me. No matter what, we always had each other's back, right? She was my stone that kept me grounded to earth. That was her life jacket that kept her from drowning in their expectations with the sharks that swam around her. Were they trying to turn her against her? Could she not see that what she was doing was not only to me, but to the others that hide deep within her own soul? Was she just alone? Fighting with the demons that crossed her path until she finally let go and went back to those old habits. Habits, something she couldn't tell me, but only showed me. Something she didn't want to change, something that will only lurk deep within my brain. Maybe I wasn't a good friend. Maybe it was my fault while she was struggling alone. With the waves that were trying to pull her under, I stayed with her. I fought with her. I cried with her. I was there, but was she there? The piranhas that were feasting on the remains of my friend. Someone who I thought would be with me until the very end. Someone who I thought would carry me through the waves. Instead, she let me drown in the tsunami of toxicity. I would have died for her, but would she have done that for me? They showered her with live rounds, something that would have made a normal person drown. I would have taken that bullet for her. Or would she have taken that bullet if it was directed towards me? I was unaware how to set myself free from the growing pain and anger that was brewing in me. I wasn't sure she was even with me. I thought no matter what, we would always be friends, but it seemed that as the years went by, I was hanging out with a stranger. Someone I didn't know was calling my friend. Someone who didn't care how she made others feel were my friend. I couldn't help but stick around like a lost puppy and hope my friend would return, but all I got was an expression I'd never seen before. I saw, I sat vigil for my lost friend. I wondered day and night if she would ever come back. Maybe it was wishful thinking or denial. Perhaps I didn't want to let go of our childhood promises. I wanted to help her, but she didn't want it. She hung around those who got her in trouble, the risky things that put people around her in danger. How could someone do that and still call you their friend? Uncomfortable. I was un always uncomfortable with the choices she made, uncomfortable with the situation she put me through, uncomfortable with how she made me feel, uncomfortable with how she made others feel, uncomfortable with the life she chose to live day by day, uncomfortable with the looks she gave, uncomfortable with the locked door, uncomfortable with constantly being ignored, uncomfortable towards the men she snuck in my own. <sighs> or maybe I was just unreasonable. She never listened to my reasonings. Always stopped trying to peer pressure me into things I would never return from. I thought we were indestructible, but turns out I guess I was just replaceable. I always realized that this was a stranger. When my mind confirmed my heart denied, I always knew this wasn't her, but my lover as a sister blinded me in every move. I had to learn to let her go, to let her travel this lonely road alone.